What's going on everybody? New Silver Stalker here and thank you so much for tuning into a new video. Uh, guys, we've got a mail call today and this is a really cool mail call. Probably one of the coolest. I've had a lot of cool ones though, so maybe. Um, but the story of this is very interesting and this is something I've never had in here. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Real quick guys, check it out. Um, I've got my tripod in my hands. So you know what that means. It means we have a new way and you, you might have noticed that the angle is different. Um, check it out. Let me grab the box real quick. Ugh. So I went ahead and got a scissor tripod. And this is hanging on the other side of my desk. And you can lower it up and down. Um, look, I can move my hands freely without knocking anything over. And ready? We can raise it up. So that way, look at all that room we got. I can raise it up even more. I can raise it up more, but I'm not going to. And you can go all the way down. You know, if we're doing like an auction or something, we can go boom all the way in. And I can zoom in even more if I wanted to. But um, but the point is, is hopefully this should help the quality of the videos and plus not be such a nuisance like that tripod was. But to be honest, the tripod is pretty great. It served its purpose. So um, we'll also be using this for the uh, live streams, which will be fantastic. Because I always hit, because there's always wires all in my way with the live streaming camera. So, um, and we'll be buying a new microphone soon for the, for the videos. Uh, not really much of a rush just because the videos sound okay right now. Um, with the live stream, I'm gonna get a separate microphone for my computer, uh, cause the live stream sound like crap. Anyways guys, um, just really excited to show you guys this new tripod, so let's go ahead and get started with this mail call. All right, so real quick, let me make sure it's all good. Let me pull it open real quick, okay. I just gotta bend it open so that way I can flip it back over. Okay, there we go. So guys, um, a guy named Ryan, really cool guy, I just met him. Um, some of you were in the live stream a couple days ago. We just did a random live stream because I was bored. And he, no, before the live stream, I got an email from him, but I was at work, so I didn't read it. Anyways, I came home, got right on the live stream, and then he joined into the chat. He said, hey, have you read your email yet? And I'm like, no, not yet. Um, I'll read it. Real and so, and so I read some of it real quick. And, and he showed me some cool coins and, and he's like let me know if you want to trade or buy any and i was like yeah i want to buy one so we started talking about it on stream i was like you know i've never had one i really want one and he was like um he was like well i'll just send you one i'm like okay well before you send it just let me know how much it is because I, I don't want to overpay you know uh, I, don't, I don't i have no idea what the value is on them i don't want to pay a 100 bucks for you know the coin and um He's like, no, I'll just send you one. And then afterwards, he sent me an email. He's like, he's like, hey, I'm sending you one out. What's your address? I'm like, what? I was very confused. But what a guy. I offered to pay, but I can't believe it. Anyways, this is super, super cool. I'm really excited to show this. Ryan, you're an awesome guy. Um, and he's got a good stack. Uh, Ryan, if you'd like me to show some of it, send me some more pictures or, or I'll show what you've sent me so far. Um, every single Sunday. So, so um, yeah, every single Sunday, we'll be showing off the stack, which... Actually, this video might not be might be released after Sunday, so I'll email you. Anyways, yeah, if you, if if anybody watching this wants to send me photos of their stack, um, I will show it off on our uh, Sunday live stream. So as long as you send it before the Sunday live stream, I'll show it every week. If you send it too late, I'll show on the next one. Um, but I think it'd be fun to start looking at everybody's stack. Or if you don't want to show off your whole stack, or if you can't show off your full stack, just show off some of your favorite pieces. Just go ahead and email them. My email's in the description down below. All right, guys, let's bust into this. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. One second. Okay. We got a little envelope. Okay. Let's move that off to the side. Ooh, super excited, man. This is just crazy. I, I, like, I really can't believe he just sent this. What an awesome guy. Uh, there's a lot of awesome people in this community. Let's, you know. Okay. I right, hear I should move these out of the way for now. Okay. Oh, look. Ooh, I hope there's a letter in here. I really hope there is. That's a, that's a, I'm not trying to be corny, but I love the letters. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to add it to my wall. Yo, NSS. Here. Yo, NSS. I hope you enjoy the coin as much as I do. Thanks for the warm welcome. Happy stacking, Ryan M. Thank you so much, Ryan. I will be putting this up on my wall. Um, geez, we're running out of room for our letters, guys. Guys, feel free to send a letter whenever you want. You don't need to send silver. That is that. That is not a requirement. But if you ever want to send a letter, I love them. I've put. I I've got like 20 all over my wall. I even had to move some over to my side wall. But I love them. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I can see a little hint of it right there. 
don't know where my knife is. So I'm just gonna cut this bad boy like this. Ugh. I was so excited. And man, he shipped this with one day shipping. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe it. He spent $26 on one day shipping. Like, like he's awesome. But, um, but on the bright side, it sounds like he got his money back because it took more than one day. So good. I'm glad. I'm glad you got your money back because you definitely not need to. I mean, you didn't need to do this in the first place, but you definitely didn't need to do one day shipping. But hey, I appreciate it so much. It's awesome. I'm super excited. I look forward to talking to you more in the future. All right, here we go, guys. Are we, are we ready? I'm, I'm excited for this. Really excited for this. Here we go. Check that out. Oh, it's in the packaging. I didn't know it was in the packaging. For real Canadian Mint? That's insane. Oh, my gosh. Uh, don't worry, guys. I will work on the lighting situation. I actually have a light that will be hung above this. So the lighting will be a little bit better next time. Uh, I just got I just got this tripod set up so the lighting's not that great. But look at this. So I have, hold on. Before we look at before we look at it any further, let me grab some more maples. Okay. Let's just compare, because I've never had an, an older maple. I've only had the modern one. And this lighting really sucks right now. So I like my phone's right here in the way of the light, so. There we go. That's better. Let's look at it. Okay, so the new maple is more detailed. The old one's not as detailed. And it doesn't have those little radial lines that the newer one has. That's super cool. I've been wanting one. So obviously, as you can tell, this is the older maple leaf, right? Um, in the Royal Canadian Mint packaging. And here's what I thought was really cool. The other side. Now, I know a lot of you don't like the queen. But, you know, the see, the old queen is on all of our coins, right? Not our coins, but coins. But check out this one. We got the young queen. Now that's cool. Uh, I don't really care what your opinion on is on the queen. You know, it, it's still cool to mix it up. You know what I mean? That is super cool. So this is in 1989. So what is that? 40, 45 years ago almost? Jeez. Love maples. Wow. And that is insane that it's in the Royal Canadian Mint. Maybe I did know that, but I forgot. I can't remember. But, wow, thank you so much, Ryan. This is nuts. Oh, man. You know, when we do the unboxings like this, I just like to enjoy the coin a little bit. Sometimes I don't talk as much as I usually do, because I talk a lot, but, wow. You know, it's nothing crazy. To, it's for, you, for a lot of you, it's nothing crazy, but, you know, first off, it was just sent to me. So that's cool. And I've never had one, so that's another cool component to it. And it's in the RCM packaging. Definitely be r ripping it out right now. I'm just joking. We're not taking this out. Ever. And I won't be selling this ever. Everything I get sent to me, I will refuse to sell. Even if I sell my whole stack, I refuse to sell anything that was given to me. Because I really appreciate it and, you know, good memories, I guess. From good friends. All right. To before we get too corny, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Actually, let's lower this down a little bit. There we go. Then we can zoom in and inspect it a little bit. Here's, let me grab this flashlight. Oh, just kidding, that's a black light. Oh, I got this black light on Amazon for the Geiger. We'll make a video on that later, though. Wow. Yeah, see, the cool thing... See, I never really buy any of the old maples because I love the new radio lines in the background on both sides. And I love the detail in the new maple and the security feature. So I never bought any of the old ones, but or, but a few weeks ago I was like, I need an older one because they are cool. They're just very clean, very, you know, polished, not polished, but you know, just very a minimalist, I guess you could say. But the background of these looks pretty cool because it looks like it's, you know, like, you know, like someone like scraped downwards. I, I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean? Like you can see the lines going downwards. It looks like, you know, you know, like they brushed it downwards instead of just being a smooth surface, which I think is awesome. There you go. There is your 1989 Canadian Maple Leaf versus your 2022. Well, this is actually a 2015, but you know, they look the same. The 2022s and the 2015s. So if you've never seen the difference between the two, now you have. Here, let me hold those up a little bit. Love the Maple Leaf, man. You know, 
I I'm I'm a firm believer, or I'm you know I I I always say the Royal Canadian Mint puts out the best stuff, consistently the best stuff. Now, I love Eagles. I love them to death. I love Libertads. I love Britannias. But man, Maple Leafs, Maple Leafs just, you know, they're always cool. I love what the Royal Canadian Mint does. Excellent job by them all the time. Wow. Okay, guys, I'll cut this short. Um, I'll appreciate it in my alone time, but um, I just wanted to, just, I wanted you guys to see me unbox it. And Ryan, special thank you. Um, also, where do you get this nice paper from? Jeez. It's like rich people paper right there. Just kidding, but that's really nice. All right, guys. Well, there we go. Thank you so much, Ryan. I really appreciate it. This is awesome. I'll be keeping this forever without a doubt. And thank you so much. If you guys want to send me any letters, like I said, no need to send silver. Don't need to do that. But if you want to send letters or stickers or whatever you want, you can send whatever you want. Postcard. Send it, it'll be hung up on the wall, and I'll always do a video about it, because I enjoy getting them. There we go. Alright, everybody, thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Ryan.